afternoon, Cherries fans, and welcome to the latest opposition preview show here on Back of the Net. After the heroics in the FA Cup on Tuesday at Burnley, we now know our quarter-final opponents. But whilst we're all looking forward to that game, we're back to league duties, and we have a 12.30 match to look forward to in Nottingham. We all wish we were going, uh, mainly for some hooters and football thrown in as well. To preview this game, I'm delighted to have popular Forest YouTuber, Mr. Daw, with me from Daw on Tour. Afternoon, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Yeah, very well, thank you. So, firstly, a little bit about your channel, Daw on Tour. I understand you've done some big interviews with some former players. Do tell us a little bit more. Um, first of all, like I said, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber vlogger um, and I used to go to games home and away for two years um, and I really enjoyed it, like just visiting, like especially City Ground and visiting rival grounds. Um, and then since we've had this pandemic, um, I, like you've got to think of plan B, plan C. And I thought to myself, you know what, let me try interviewing ex Nottingham Forest players. So my first player that I'd done was um, ex Nottingham Forest and Holland International, Brian Roy. And oh, yeah. So, and I thought to myself, I enjoyed that. And then since then, I've interviewed eight Forest players, eight, yeah, 98 or 9 ex Nottingham Forest, being Brian Roy, Kevin Campbell, David Phillips, Marlon King, um, Matt Mills, Danny Collins. Um, and yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed it. So, my channel likes it's go on tour. The name was because I could go on tour to, to other rivals. Um, and yeah, it's, it's more of a forest channel, more of a forest channel, and interact with forest fans in not and going around the world and interact with rival fans as well, like yourself. Fantastic. So, Forest versus Bournemouth. Uh, be honest, what's the first thing that you think when you see that fixture in your diary? Big game. Um, the team that was in the Premiership uh, under Andy Howe, um, a, a good squad as well. A good squad, like you got Dominic Slacky, Brooks. I can go on, um, but as you know, Andy Howe left, um, and then <laughs> I don't know is it, well, who's the other one that's left. As well, just it's as well. Jason Tindall. Jason Tindall as well, um, and then you got Jennifer Woodgate. But boy, they. they I'm gutted because I wanted to go. I've, I've never been to Bournemouth away, and I'm gutted that I couldn't go. So when that fixture come out, I think it's like I said, it's a, it's a tough team that's just come down from the Premiership. And like I said, no, we we went to a place where they lost two 0 But Bournemouth is a, is a a good side. Is it a little bit annoying though to see a small club like ourselves um, get in the Premier League when a big club like Nottingham Forest have been trying for so long to get back there? It's been 21 years since the 98-99 season and as far as fans know, like I said, every season that comes up, we say it's our year, it's our year, but it's not. And you say we're a big club, would you class as a big club at this moment? Not really. Our, our, our history says we're a big club. We're not as big as, as, you, as you think it is. Um, it's, it's frustrating as well. Like I said, it's been so long to get a Premiership. And it's well documented. Last season, we blew it. Last game of the season against um, Stoke City. Um, <coughs> and it's been an up and down season. It's been up and down years and years for Forest, but it's, it's frustrating. Do you think with the turning form, though, it gives you a little bit of hope? Probably not so much this season, but for next season. Um, I think it's the last two games, like I said, we've won against teams that are, are, below, are not obviously below us and not been doing great. Um, <laughs> this, this, like, our season's just been, if you look at it, our season's been dreadful. The players <laughs> that we've got, and like I said, you can say we, we beat two teams below us, but when, it, when we play teams like Bournemouth and the teams that are above us, we're not, we're not playing great. And this this next fixture against Bournemouth is definitely is going to think if we win, maybe maybe something can happen. But 
I, I don't think we, we're not going to. I think mid table is going to be <clears> the best position that we can finish. But for next season, you know, going into that, if you can keep the momentum going, you know, surely oh, as a. Oh, but we, we say that we say that every season, and Forest yeah. fans, all Forest fans can say we, we say this every season. Oh yes, Chris Hutton, he's a manager, proven record. Um, he got Brighton up, he got Newcastle yep. up, he got Birmingham in the playoffs. Um, but we say this every season. It's our year. It's our year. It's our year. But you need to remember the twenty-three other teams that want the same. Want the same. So yes, if Hutton gets his players that he wants. And the board back him, maybe. <clears throat> but I don't want to keep, like I said, I've said this on my podcast over and over again. It, all the talking needs to be on the pitch and less talking off the pitch, and it is what it is. Well, as you allude to, it has been a tough season for Forrest, but you have been on a good run of form. Um, you've only lost one league game since mid December. Well, what has been the difference? Our defence. A defence, and like I said, we, that, that that game we lost to was Mirsbro. Um We never do well against a Neil Warnock side. But if you look at it, it's been four draws, five wins, and one defeat. So it's been, it's been good, but we're still in that relegation dogfight. Hooten, he's made little adjustments, like he's just brought in Glenn Murray from Brighton. Um, people, he's a, Forest fans were slagging him off by his age, but he's a proven strike goal scorer like he did against Wickham. Um, he's got anti knockout as well, and like I said, it, for, he started really slow, but he, he, he's, he's slowly getting there. He's slowly getting there, and like I just said, mid table will be will be a good position for us this, this season. Of course, you got former Cherry Harriata in the ranks there at Forest. How has he performed this season? When Forest signed him from Bournemouth, I'm, I'm not going to lie, and Forest fans can, will say this as well, we were so excited for Harry Arthur because you know his record. He's, he's like, done well for Bournemouth. He done well for <laughs> Fulham last season as well. He got, he got them up. And Harry Arthur, like he's a Republic International, Island, Island International, he's a good player. And... Like when we signed out, like I was happy about it, but can't get the team. Um, we, we don't know the reason why. Um, maybe Hooten's not a fan of him. Uh-huh. Um, I'm still baffled why he can't. Um, he's not been in the, in the starting lineup. But it's, it's it's a shame. Like he's an experienced player. He's been there, done that, and he, he can't. Like I said, he, he almost left at the end of the window but due to um, I think it was just wages it's difficult to get him off, off the books and it's been it's, it's been a real disappointing for Harry Arthur but I, I like I like Harry Arthur like he's, 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 <coughs> he's a player that we need but whatever's happened we don't know well he, he did go a little bit off the ball here as well unfortunately um, unknown what the reasons were about that um, but you know we did think that when he did move to Forest you know he would be a revelation for you guys and really get back to his former form so you know hopefully in the long run you know he will do but Hewton's a good manager um, and I'm sure that he has got his reasons but somebody who has played recently um, is Lewis Graben um, and he grabbed a goal against Coventry what's his performance has been like since he returned from injury? Um, it's not been. It's been okay. Um, as everyone knows, Lewis Graben can have a little strop there and then. Um, it, the thing with Lewis, with Lewis Graben, like I said, he's a proven goal scorer. A proven <laughs> goal scorer for like any team like he plays for. He scored goals last season. He scored twenty goals for us last season, um, and first time someone's done that since oh three oh four season. So Lewis Graben is a fantastic striker. And this season, I think everyone's everyone's been disappointed. But then he got his injury, and <laughs> personally, I think, in my opinion, he, like I think he he wanted to go. He wanted to go. Um, he didn't get his move. Um, but then he's come back from injury, and like I said, he scored a goal against Coventry. Good goal. 
That's what, what, yeah. that's what he does. But then he did, he did play against Wickham, and he had, I think, he had a slight injury again. Um, yeah. But Luz, Luz, Luz Gomez, like, he's, he's a proven player, and hopefully he is back. I, I, don't, know if, I, don't, I don't know if he'll start against you lot, but Luz Gomez is a fantastic striker. And there's no di- there's no denying about it. Like, I, I, hopefully he gets some gets some game time against Bournemouth. And of course, Glenn Murray was here as well, and he grabbed two against Wickham the other day. Do you think he might drive you up the table next season? It's, it's like he made his debut. He, he come on against Coventry for the last fifteen minutes, but he, he came on. He, he started against Wickham, mm-hmm. and like I said, like I just said everyone doubted him because of his age. He won't be that Glenn Murray, as we know, likes to play for Bournemouth, Brighton, Crystal Palace. And the goal, the first goal he scored against um, Wickham was just fantastic. That's what we call a striker's goal. And even his penalty that he took, I think, yes, he's not going to be the same, but he's a proven yeah. goal scorer for whatever level. And yeah. he's, a, he's a different he's a different type of striker to grab him and yeah. Lionel Taylor. And Glenn Murray, I think we need him while we're in his really, really good stock fight. Can you give us a little bit more of a lowdown, though, on the rest of the Forest team? Uh, I'll start with goalkeeper Bryce Sambar. Um, <coughs> fantastic time for us last season. Um, personally, one of the best goalkeepers in the league. This season, um, it's been up and down because, like, due to like, the performance that we have. But you can't deny he's still he's still a fantastic goalkeeper. I think. Any anyone in this league will have him. He, he can be a, li- a little bit cocky, but that's him. Um, but he's a fantastic keeper. Um, the defence, uh, well, personally, Captain Joe Wall. Um, I think he's, he he had a little bit of an injury in midway through the season, um, and personally, he's a fantastic defender. Um, we've got about fifty defenders. <laughs> we've got about twenty yeah. right backs, fifty left backs. I, I, do, do you want me to name all of them? <laughs> uh, no, just the... <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got, uh, like I said, we've got um, Joe Worrell, Fegarito, Michael Dawson. Um, yeah. Uh, the midfield, uh, we've got Harry Arter, Jack Colback. Uh, mm-hmm. got, got, we've, got, we've got so many players I could mention. Um, yeah. Um, then the midfield, we've got players like Anthony Knockard, that played with Murray, um, Samuel Berryby. Uh, who else got Luke Friedman? I can carry on. Cafu, who we got from Olympiacos, that we just permanently signed him as well. Um, <laughs> we've got a massive squad, a massive squad, and it's just like rather fans will always say, "Why are you there? Why are you in the, in the bottom half?" And it's about we, we are in this pandemic, and players can't interact as more. Like I said, we've got so many players, so many players I can just I can just mention. And there's a lot of quality in the ranks as well, like yeah. you say, it you know, like, like real, real quality. There is. Well, well, like I said, we've got Anthony Lockhart, proven player that um, played for Brighton. Um, <laughs> even we've got Bong. People have been criticised with Bong, and he's been playing all right under Hooten. Um, who else is there? We've got, like, I can mention so many. <laughs> I can mention so many. Like yeah. Ab- Abiobi as well. I forgot to mention him. Oh yeah. Um, He's, he's had his games, uh, he's had his up and down seasons as well, but he's been up there. We've got a uh, young player in Alex Mighton as well. He, um, he's been playing a few games. He's, he's been in and out of the team, um, but he's a player that he, he's a future. Um, I, can, I can mention more. I can mention so we've got, we've got so many players. Like, I, can't, I can't. I've lost count on the players that we've got. We've got at least 30, 35 players that that should be the first team so yeah it's a good squad it's a big squad you know for me forest is an amazing way day it's the place where i went to university and i, I think i spent most of my student loan in hooters um, <laughs> it's, only, it's, only, it's only five minutes away from my house <laughs> yeah oh there we go mate you know <laughs> so yeah i was desperate to come back up there probably spend too much money as well as they say hooters makes you happy <laughs> I didn't but, say that. He said that. I didn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there was an advert like that years ago, wasn't there? It always used to come up on the TV when I was up there. All the time. All the time. <laughs> All the time. But it's, it's, it's a good place, though. Right? 
I've not I've not been there for a while, but I like I live, I live ten minutes away from there, but um they they always take too much money off me, so I just just stay there, stay away from Yeah, there. they did me as well to be honest, mate. <laughs> <laughs> But how much do you think the effect of no fans inside the city grounds has affected the early part of the season, especially? 100%. 100%. And like, I, w- I was watching a Bruce Sam interview and he's a player that needs fans because, as we know, like he, he's a, he's a, he can be a cocky guy and <clears> fans would, would draw players on. Like, so, on with players, sometimes you get criticised from fans, might be happy about it. But some players, they need it. They need it. And things what's happened behind the scenes at Forest, like I'll give you an example, like the CEO, will be happy if fans not there because he's, he's not been doing good things at Forest. And it's, it, it is like, like myself, I, I go to home away games and it is frustrating, very frustrating watching on the TV. Um, like I said, when I watched the Bournemouth, when I watched Bournemouth beat Forest two 0 and I was gutted that I couldn't go to Bournemouth away um, because it, it's like a place that I, I love to go. And hopefully, you don't get promoted this season, so I can go next season. So, uh, well, <laughs> well, you never know. We might... <laughs> well, I'm actually hoping we draw you in the cup. So go up, but we'll draw oh, you in the cup. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. But. Uh, we got to make sure it goes to a replay, so you can come down here, experience, <laughs> you know, the nightlife, and so I can go up there and experience Hooters again. So <laughs> I am not going Bournemouth on a Tuesday night. I'm sick of Tiger, but I think I think um, when we beat you two one, I think it was under Stuart Pearce, and yeah, I, I was good that I couldn't go there because I was at work and Bournemouth away. I was going to the seaside. That's that's all I'm bothered about the seaside and yeah, yeah the stadium. Yeah, no good stuff, mate. Well, you never know. FA Cup next season. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> but considering uh, we've turned the corner a little bit under Woodgate, are you concerned playing us after those two positive results? Nope, because I, I was when I seen Tyndall. Is it Tyndall got um, got sacked? Yep. And you you hide Woodgate on a Monday, didn't you? And then, we did, yes. Yes, and then you sat Tyndall, was it Tuesday or Wednesday? Uh, it was Wednesday. And then it was early hide, morning. And yeah, and then you hide Woodgate on a Thursday. Yeah. I, I said to my friends, right, because I'm not a Woodgate fan. I'm not going to lie, I'm not a Woodgate fan because, don't get me wrong, he's a fantastic player. He's a fantastic yeah. player. But I don't rate him as a manager. I don't, I, I, I don't know why. Because, like, don't get me wrong, like, boom, they've got, they got some fantastic players. They've got some participation, and you can't deny that. But I just don't. I don't rate him as manager. And I said to my mates, if we don't beat Bournemouth on Saturday, then we we deserve to go down because you got people like Daniel Sl- Sl- Slanky, uh, Dominic Slanky. Yeah, Bro- he's actually out injured. Is he? Yeah, Slanky's out I, injured for I, the game. I'm happy with that. If, we, if we don't win, because I know who's, who's the guy that scored two goals past us? Was it um, since? Stands off. Is it Stanislas, Stanislas, yeah. That's it. Um, yeah. I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I, I think we be born with. I, 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 I think they. Um, they. I'm not a fan of Woodgate. I'm not a fan of Woodgate. I, just, mm. I, I think with born with it, it's, it's going to be difficult to someone to replace Eddie Howe because Eddie Howe. Oh, was yeah. like a, it's, it, Eddie Howe was like a Alex Ferguson, born with and. <laughs> It's like with Forrest, we had Brian Clough, and we've had we've had a few managers that have replaced hit by like Frank Clark or Harry Bassett, but it's going to be so difficult someone to replace anyhow. And for Bournemouth, I think I think I think hundred percent they'll get top six, but I don't I don't think if if Forrest lose win against Bournemouth, I think Woodgate won't, won't be in charge. That's my opinion. I ask everyone this same question. I think I know which way you're going to go, Mr. Door. How's it going to go? <laughs> um, it's it's, it's, it's going to be a tough game. Like I mentioned, we, we're, we're beating our teams who blow us easy. Mm-hmm. And when we lost to Bournemouth 2-0, like I said, I think Bournemouth controlled the game from, like, from start to finish. And we, we we need to win, and that's so if, if we win on Saturday, it'd be a massive boost, big boost. 
So my prediction, I think I'll go for is, I think Bournemouth will score if Brooks is if is Brooks playing. Uh, he probably will do. Yes. Yes. If, if Brooks like Brooks, like I think he he was fantastic against us. And yeah. If if he's on his game, or over one or two players, I think. I, I, I personally think it'll be a draw. I don't know why I think no. it'll be a draw. Uh, I think I'll go for one-one. One-one. That, 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 it, yeah, one-one. You surprised me there. I thought he was going to go for a win. No, but I thought you. It, it's not that. You, you, you got, you've got yeah. to look at. You've got to look at as the whole, what's the, what's happened for the whole season. And yes. Yeah. I, I could say yeah, we're going to win. We could win this, but I'm not trying to be negative at all. I'm not trying to be negative at all. But it just we two fantastic results we had. And you've got, you've got to look how way Bournemouth have been playing. So I think the last time you, you last time we played us at our ground, we beat you two. Was it two one? Didn't we? We beat you two one at our ground. Yes. That, yeah. that was under. I think it was under Stuart Pearce. I think it was. No, it was it was, it was under someone else. And um, I, I just re- I think it'd be one one two one two one Forest two one Forest one one. That that's my final one one. Yeah. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you on, mate. And I, I'm going to be joining you as well, aren't I, on yes, your you, channel? Yes, you will, people. You will be joining me nine o'clock uh, on my door on door channel. Um, so, people, if you do want to join me and Craig on my channel, nine o'clock, uh, we, he'll be talking about Bournemouth, um, all about what's been going on with Bournemouth season so far. So, people, if you do, make sure you do hit the subscribe button, and and you see me, my pretty face on Friday. I'm looking forward to it, mate. And I'll make sure there will be a link in the description as well. So you, you can see me on an away day. <laughs> <laughs> well, a virtual away day, it's let's call it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me on. No problem at all. Pleasure. All the reds. Well, thank you for joining me on this opposition preview. Straight after the game against Forest, we will have our famous free thrills. So please do get involved. Hopefully it's a happy one. Um, also, Tom Jordan will be back for his player ratings. So until next time, up the cherries. and We'll all dream of Hooters, shall we? Thanks for joining me.